is an investigative journalist who joins us to assess what exactly is going on here. Matt, thank you so much for joining us tonight. So the Biden administration is admitting they had the CIA director try to bully the president of a sovereign country on the question of his own elections? How can that happen? Well, they don't even think it's a big deal. It's par for the course. In fact, Bernie Sanders was talking about it on Pod Save America, the lefty podcast of uh, former Obama administration alum. Uh, and it was uh, like, OK, this is great. This is what we should be doing. We need to secure, quote unquote, democracy our way. Now, Bernie Sanders was somebody who was rallying for decades against the CIA involvement in Latin America in the 70s. But everything's about politics for these people. And in addition to the CIA director, now they're talking about sending Jake Sullivan down there, the uh, national security advisor, to make sure the transition is orderly. Uh, but the bigger deal, I think, is that they have had a see no evil, hear no evil mentality for the last two years as Bolsonaro uh, followers, politicians aligned with him, journalists have been censored, imprisoned. I wrote a piece for CDM Press uh, and I listed some of these incarcerated journalists. Even a sitting politician, a sitting congressman was placed under house arrest. And it's continuing right now. Carla Zambelli, an outspoken member of the lower house, the Chamber of Deputies, has been totally purged from social media by diktat of one man, the head of the Brazilian Supreme Court, who also oversees a subsidiary court, the Brazilian Electoral Court. There's no due process here. It is purely by diktat. And these people are losing their voices. And the Biden administration says nothing. Where is that not considered? in irregularity electorally? Where's the Organization of American States, the EU, the State Department, the IRI who monitors elections? They're silent. It's pretty obscene. If you don't have free speech, you don't have democracy. Free speech is a prerequisite Correct. for democracy. So when you shut down free speech, it's not a democracy. By definition,